The Museum of Latin American Art, MOLA, was founded in 1996 in Long Beach, California and serves the greater Los Angeles area. MOLA is the only museum in the United States dedicated to modern and contemporary Latin American art. Since its inception, MOLA has doubled its size, added a 15 square foot sculpture garden, and expanded its perma permanent collection, ranging from works by Tamio Mata to Cruz Diaz and Los Capricoros and Tonga. The museum is located in the city's rapidly developing East Village Arts District. Between 1913 and 1918, the site that the museum now occupies was the home of the Balboa Amusement pro um, Producing Company, then the world's most um, productive and innovative silent film studio. Before there was a Hollywood, Balboa was the king of the silver screen, producing as much as Tw um, 20,000 feet of negative film a week. That's crazy. All right, so we are at the Museum of Latin American Art and let's see if they'll let us film in here. <laughs> The Museum of Latin American Art, MOLE, is proud to host the comprehensive retrospective exhibition of the work by legendary Los Angeles artist Frank Romero. Encompassing over 50 years of the artist's career, Dreamland, a Frank Romero retrospective, is the first solo exhibition of a Chicano artist at MOLE. Born in East Los Angeles in 1941, Frank E. Romero is one of the most iconic LA artists of our time. As the last practicing artist of the Los Four Art Collective, Dreamland recounts his life's journey through paintings, sculptures, prints, and ceramics. Frank Romero grew up in a culturally mixed, middle-class Los Angeles community in Boyle Heights and was well into his career by the time he developed a conscious of being a Latino artist. During the height of the Chicano Civil Rights Movement in the early 1970s and as a member of a, the Chicano artist group Los Four, he attained a new high-profile status in the larger art community. But it was not until the mid-1980s, however, that Romero could give visual form to some of the emotional charged political events he had witnessed. Frank Romero grew up in a Hispanic, Asian, and Jewish communities of the East Los Angeles area. He began painting when he was five years old and as a teenager attended LA's Otis Art Institute, one of the best art institutes in the nation. Romero did not think of himself as a Chicano until he began working with three other artists in the informal group known as Los Four. Los Four and other Hispanic artists throughout the West used wall murals, graffiti, and street theater to protest America's involvement in Vietnam and Southeast Asia. The police responded to anti-war demonstrations in Los Angeles and was part of the larger pattern of violence against the minority communities that Ro Romero experience throughout his life. It takes years for an artist to think through and to paint these episodes in the life of his community. Because, he says, that stuff is hard for me to do. It hurts. It's frightening. Romero's brightly colored paintings celebrate the Los Angeles culture of low riders and the art of making something beautiful out of the ordinary. I hope you enjoyed this video. I had a blast making it. And overall, it was fantastic to see Frank Romero's life and his journey through his artist career. I hope you liked this video. Please like and subscribe. Thank you so much to my Patreons. And I hope to see you in future videos. I... Adios, then.